What is good guys? We are headed to the park right now. I don't have Liam with me today, so it's a solo game vlog with my friends Mo. We've got a couple others catching up later. There's Mo. Say hi Mo. What's going on guys? We're stuck on the island cutting through traffic. It is Tuesday the 29th. The Rays are in town taking on the Nats. We're gonna try and get some autographs, catch some baseball. It should be fun. So uh, let's get inside. Baby, I'm going commercial. Big trust, head short and purple. Baby burger, ooh, queen of the jungle. Eating up, had a pull out of thermal. 20 more minutes till I'm gonna be out of the dark. I'll be shooting my flashlight. That gonna be tough. You should see the nasty set just there by the top of Alright, so we just got inside. Rays aren't hitting yet. Uh, they're just like doing fielding practice on the field, which shouldn't really be that important. We should be working on hitting in the pregame, obviously. All right, guys, this is actually me later in the video. The game's about to start right now, but I had to give you all a quick shout out for this. We uploaded this video yesterday and you guys have been go crazy, absolutely blowing it up. It's starting to get windy, but I just want to say, if you guys enjoy videos like that, make sure to hit subscribe. You don't want to miss anything this summer. We're going absolutely crazy. It's only better when Liam's around. Yeah, what can I say? Bat Boys takeover. With COVID and everything this year, players just not being as friendly signing autographs. I mean, obviously we've seen some beautiful examples this year. Yo, Max, how, how are we doing, Max? Hall of Famer autograph? But uh, yeah, all lefties group for the Rays in batting practice right now. Mo already ran over to right. So uh, I'm going to go check in on him, see how he's doing, and try and catch a baseball. Despite the uh, 90 plus degree weather, we got a bit of a crowd in batting practice right now. New group of Rays lefties out here, uh, but nothing going on, baseball-wise. Currently waiting in the car for batting practice to be over. We, we do love batting practice, but we just couldn't bring ourselves 106 degrees out right now. Yeah, hope batting practice is going well for the boys. So. Brett Phillips jersey, while Brett Phillips is hitting. Goaded. We've decided to move into the upper deck because there's only one other person out here, and there's still some lefties for the Rays. Oh no! No! Oh, we're gonna have to ask Mo what happened with that afterwards. The walk home awaits us after tonight's matchup. All right, guys, so uh, we got into the third round of Rays BP there, and so I kind of decided to give up on ball hawking today. Most still trying, but instead, I decided I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to ball hawk the correct way. Rule number one, always bring your glove. There, there are other rules that are probably more important, but like rule number one, you gotta have your glove. That's, I don't have mine because I'm using it to prop up my phone right now, but you gotta have your glove. Rule number two, you gotta be early. That's something we didn't do today. DC traffic was absolutely brutal. We were parking in lot T, I think. So we walked over the stadium, got here at like 5.20, maybe 5.15. Show up a little later than we would have if Liam and I were just going today, but I'm here with friends, so. Rule number three, you gotta stand out somehow. You gotta be loud. You gotta be wearing some crazy outfit. And you gotta bring a sign. You gotta calling that player by something that will really get their attention. Rule number four, honestly, this is the most important rule. You gotta be polite. One please will outdo a thousand years and balls. You gotta be polite, so say please. The players, they will spot you if you're calling out, using your manners and stuff. Be polite, it'll get you places in life. Rule number five, this is kind of falling under the polite category, but you gotta be polite to the ball hawk community. You can't be a ball hog. Don't be that guy bashing over little kids for baseballs. If you're catching your second, third, fourth of the ball day, whatever, I don't know where you draw the line. At some point, you gotta start handing some balls away. Be polite. Well then, you know, just share the share the wealth out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Ball Hawking 101, how to catch a baseball at a baseball game. Required trip to the authentic stand at every NAS game. That's the discount Harper. Ooh, Ryan Harper. Wanda Suero. Mo loading up his glizzy. Oh yeah, I guess I think I can have it. Everything's too expensive for me. I'm just getting peanuts. We have finally reached the shade. Big shout out to PFC Chapman for the tickets tonight. Those kids are absolutely doing the dash to go see Joe Ross warm up. So uh, we were back at our seats for maybe like five minutes and Mo and I already killed our first souvenir soda. We're going has on it tonight. I'm trying to see how many refills we can squeeze into one game. I wonder if Kyle Schwarber is going to hit a leadoff home run tonight. No way! Holy crap! Let's go, baby! Let's go! This dude is unreal! Kyle Schwarber is a freak of nature! 
Walker! And now Juan Soto wants to play long ball. Hit one All right, our other two guests have finally arrived. Please, your name and uh, your favorite ballpark. Uh, this is Samuel Gavis Carlson. Oh. My favorite ballpark food is. Oh. 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 Sam called it. Sam called it right before there. Victor Robles. All right, where were we? Uh, name and favorite ballpark food. Uh, Samuel Gavis Carlson, favorite ballpark food. Papusa from La Papuseria on the first floor. Absolutely fantastic. T uh, scale of one to ten, how's it? Victor Robles' home run was a nine. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I am Michael Kern. Yeah. Uh, Michael Patrick Kern. Season plan holder. And, yeah, in uh, left field, not here. In the left ballpark. Field, yeah. It's got to be a Shack Burger from Shake Shack. Score update for y'all, 4-2, Nats are on top. You saw that Kevin Kiermaier single right there, bringing in another run. Four home runs already in the game, three for the Nats, one for the Rays. But yeah, outside of a few mistakes, Joe Ross is absolutely dealing. Feeling good about our chances tonight. I must say, I am truly ashamed. I just missed a Gerardo Parra baby shark pinch hitting appearance because I was in the bathroom. All right, we've made it to the top of the ninth inning. Still 4-2, Nats. Brad Hand in the lockdown, the save, let's get it. You're live. All right, guys, it's a final. Four to two Nats. I think they've lost like one game when I'm here this year, so I must be a lucky charm or something. Liam's coming back next week. It's only gonna get better this summer, so make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, drop a like if you like these kinds of videos. Bad boys, take over.